There's one question in the chat that says, uh, how do you overcome today's COVID-19 problems in the current academic year? Yeah. What measures are taken to prevent the obstacles for development of uh, academic level of weaker section? Right. So, uh, right. So, I mean, so one of the very, uh, you know, ready solution which we had was the mobile platform, mobile app of Ecovation or Unnayan program, which we launched in Plan in Bihar, Unnayan app was there or Gyanudai app was there, which we immediately launched up and, you know, also uh, put it into the local media where people can read about it, can download the, the people who are having mobile inter internet can download the platform and directly learn from, uh, from the application. But the bigger challenge is, um, uh, you know, the, the weaker section of our society who are not having direct mobile internet connection. Again, uh, we actually, so as I said, we tried doing, uh, you know, a lot of experimentation and uh, we realized that the kind of condition we were in, there were, you know, no physical activity can be carried out uh, in the field. So the next thing which we can thought of was of television, uh, Doordarshan um, channels. Uh, so that's what, you know, we, we, we developed the model of where we went to the Doordarshan uh, uh, partners with, with, with the state education department. We proposed the idea that, you know, for give us a slot for three hours. In one hour, uh, we will cover uh, class 9th or class 10th or class 11th or class 12th, where, you know, videos and questions will be there. Solutions will be discussed into the, into the, in the, in the channel, in the local language. So this Doordarshan is not, it was not DD National, but DD Bihar, DD Jharkhand, DD Rajasthan. All those uh, people uh, uh, adopted our model and then we initiated this. Uh, one of the, uh, so I mean, and then again, so the 25 to 30 percent reach which we had with mobile internet, uh, that expanded to uh, somewhere around 45 to 50 percent with two Darshan. Uh, but again, this is an unfortunate uh, thing for uh, all of us that even the TV access is also not there for everyone. So we realized that, but again, uh, we didn't able to do uh, anything for those students. And this is our worry also. So after two years, when the school will be reopened, we'll have significant number of students who hardly had any access to education for the last two years. But for that, we are trying to, you know, build bridge programs, build uh, handholding for these students. And uh, in uh, middle and high school, we, we are trying to do something, but the, in primary school level, this challenge will be more deeper because students who are uh, at first or second level never met teachers, never met their peers. So this challenge is definitely there. Uh, bigger, this, this challenge has become you know, amplified when we are talking about the weaker sections of uh, our country who, who actually didn't actually, they didn't have any access to education for the last two years. Uh, so, Ritesh, I'd like to ask you, you worked in the Maoist hit regions of Bihar as yeah. well. So, yeah. what are some of the resistances that you faced in that place vis-a-vis -vis other regions? Hmm. So, uh, right. So, I mean, this is a very good question. I mean, uh, we were initially uh, ourselves also very fearful uh, in going to those regions because I never interacted uh, and I never worked in those regions, but heard a lot of stories. When we went there, we realized that, you know, those fears were more of, you know, was there mentally, but people were very friendly there. When you are going there with, for a purpose, uh, which, is, which, is, which is acceptable to the society, uh, they are welcoming you, uh, you know, with, with, with an open heart. Uh, I remember uh, giving, uh, you know, one speech. So again, Hindi language. So there was a little disconnect, but I tried, you know, interacting with the, with, the, with, the, with the community. And when they realized that, you know, things will be, uh, you know, contextualized to it. And when we ensured that, you know, uh, there'll be a continuous uh, flow of education will be ensured. It's not that a teacher is coming once in a week and then things will be over. Uh, and then they started seeing the happening at one school. So, so initially we picked five schools. When KPI, uh, you know, exponentially increased, we picked 40 schools. And with this, with a success story of local community, local student, they, they were reading new, uh, news with local students' name, teacher's name. They actually, uh, you know, initial trust started happening on the model. And then, uh, you know, still, I mean, presently what is happening is in these schools, only one or two teachers are there. 
अब टीचर्स भी जब नहीं जाते हैं ना तो बच्चे भी उसको रन कर लेते हैं मॉडल्स को खुद से सो पॉइंट इज मेजर चैलेंज विच वी हैड वॉज द स्कूल प्रोग्राम शुड रन एवरी डे इन द स्कूल एंड वो फिर होना शुरू हो गया था जब एक बार शुरू हुआ सो आई मीन वी आई मीन जस्ट लाइक इन एनी ब्लॉक blocks which were affected uh, affected uh, uh, you know dlwe areas also very easily we actually implemented this model we literally faced uh, and and that is the reason why just after banka model goda picked the model so goda district which is just near to it's, it's in jharkhand so it's it's a neighboring district uh, from banka we also picked it and there also the the we we are seeing a huge huge improvement in results first year uh, so when we the year before the uh, our implementation the passing percentage was 48 second year it jumped to uh, the year when we implemented 65% next year 75 and this a 95% uh, passing percentage we have ensured in the school this is the kind of impact it is creating yeah uh, so we have one more question uh which uh, asks how to reach the center and state government policies to educational backward communities for their development what measures can be taken uh, reaching sorry reaching out reaching to... the uh, as yeah socially and economically disadvantaged hmm so that is still a challenge i mean <laughs> frankly speaking uh, uh still uh, i mean if we are talking about economically how we can uh, take in uh, help of state education department or uh, states uh, it is a challenge i mean frankly speaking after delivering so much of success stories still uh, you know the, the 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 so especially getting the economical help from these people are very difficult i mean they 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 ask you to come into the tendering process all those things which which is very difficult for a startup to compete with someone who is already doing 1000 2000 crore of business getting into you know against you in the tendering i mean all those formalities are still so so complex i mean ek baar maine tender ki file dekhi aur mujhe samajh nahi aaya ki kya karu main iske i mean i have to fight for that those paper work separately leaving the technology apart so you know the conventional challenge the ch- channel of you know a uh, uh, getting sourcing from the state is still still very very cumbersome I and mean, i mean we we didn't find it friendly so uh, uh, that that is one challenge which i faced otherwise uh, on on the part of operational help from the education department from uh, the the district education department or state education that was very very helpful so once you so the initial trust will only be established if you if you have shown them you know numbers that the impact is being created through this model and now if the scalability is there they will implement it i mean take our model you know we did something in bihar and jharkhand it worked very nice and then rajasthan picked it i i matlab basically bihar se hone pe mujhe kabhi samajh nahi aaya ki kuch aisa bhi hota hai kya ki bihar mein mazdoor aur logo ko padhai ke liye chhod kar ke bhi bihar se kuch bahar jata hai kya i never had an any answer we developed a model which we first implemented in bihar and rajasthan took the those models so so the whole idea was on operational part these people will definitely support you kept shown the numbers so those numbers were shown to rajasthan government and they adopted the model and over and above to that now the, for the economic for the financial uh, help or financial support feasibility for these programs you not only have to depend on government as a medium you have csr bodies you have uh, bodies like unicef and other people so we actually so in several other places we um financially we are not dependent on uh, any state or district government we are they seeking help of uh, bodies like unicef bodies like uh, you know different csu csrs uh, body so these are these are the people where we are showing our impact and uh, you know getting the financial sustainability there and from the operational part we are reaching out to the district education department or the state education department showing our numbers and they are um, you know welcoming us and uh, implementing the models Oh, thank you so much Ritesh. Uh there's one more question. Uh how does the socio economic development of a state impact uh, the trajectory of a project that you launch? Oh actually it 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 if you know so basically it's an hurdle. So let's say if a socio economic status of the state is not very good uh you will face more challenges. So for an example as i said so take so rather a state take a district and take a condition of different blocks so as you raised the question of mamasta area where the school buildings were not uh, properly shaped electricity was not there so there the implementation took time 
where we came up with a new idea of sending uh, you know cabs there tv vans there and educate kids till then the infrastructures have been getting set up there so if the socio economic status of this of the state will not be fine you know you finding these infrastructural need which project has will be difficult you will not be finding any i mean uh, so we are planning to uh, so we got an invitation of implementing the program in the newly formed district in uh, in in ladakh there uh, you know 15000 students only three uh, schools uh, and still uh, the school structures are not there so where you are going to put all these infrastructure uh, you know even if you are running the model offline so uh, so those challenges will be there so the the, the, the implementation of these models will be slow um as compared to you know moving to rajasthan when we did the analysis for in one uh, district we found that buildings are there smart tvs are already there in, installed for some government program that can be reused for this so you know in within a week you can implement all these uh, kind of program and where the socio economic status of the state is, is fine and is good but in comparison to where you will not find uh, these kinds of infrastructure uh we have one more question uh from uh so how do you combat uh, digital exclusion uh, through a model like this sir right so uh, there's a good question um in uh, the whole so right so again if so if you are keeping your solution restricted to mobile devices will not be able to uh, you know come out of this uh, digital divide which we have in our india in our country and it is significant so um, in uh, in tier 1 city we might find the 80% 85% penetration but when you are going down uh, um again uh, so uh, the definition of one so one thing is the definition of mobile active user is also very vague so when in a month i am coming once online i i'll be counted as a mobile internet active user uh, so so this divide increases significantly when we go to the you know tier 3 villages belt like that and uh, still the number is 25 30% and 70% people are not directly connected to even if the family is connected to access to student is there or not that is also a question so to break this digital divide we came up with a model where you know the channels it because currently we are in the phase where you know one to many models so the models which can catalyze a one to many channels the way we did it in uh, in a classroom so again the smart tv is also an uh, android device Uh, Android enabled uh, TVs are also coming. So rather than giving it one to one basis, uh, translating it into one to many is what we did. And in the school premises, we enabled students to learn from these models. So it's not that uh, you know we are uh, we are actually uh, uh, putting family pressure of getting connected with the mobile internet or having a mobile device. So I mean, still if we are if we are planning to go to uh, these kinds of region with technology solution in education. we have to be prepared with with a situation where we we can we can go with one to many solution where because uh, this divide is significant there major population is not having direct access to mobile internet so it it should be defined or designed in a way where uh, you know you can go one to many uh, you know model of, of of consumption of education mm -hmm. uh there's another question uh how can you use technology to prevent dropouts among women and uh, especially in uh, women in education good 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 very very good point so right so point is see i mean uh, the major question which i ask to students uh, that uh, you know uh, why why they left the school or why so we actually interacted with lots and lots of kids uh, in all these areas uh जो जो सो मेजर रिस्पॉन्सेस वर कि स्कूल में पढ़ाई नहीं होती है मजा नहीं आ रहा होता है स्कूल बहुत दूर है ऑल दीज चैनल चैलेंजेस वो दैर कि सो एंड स्पेशली सो एट प्राइमरी लेवल दिस पॉलिसी इज देयर इन बिहार दैट यू नो इन वन पंचायत एट लीस्ट वन स्कूल विल बी देयर और इन विलेज लेवल यू विल बी हैविंग वन स्कूल सो प्राइमरी लेवल पे फिर भी होता है जब स्कूल दूर जाता है तो बच्चे छोड़ देते हैं over and above to that there are a number of challenges in school you know washrooms are not available proper water water uh, is not there so all those things we we noticed and the important point was that ki padhai nahi ho rahi teachers are not coming and you know education is not being delivered what we did was uh, we first was we 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 tried ensuring the access to education through technology platform 
over and above to that, we tried gamifying it. So because television is there with you, I mean, you can do animation in that, you can gamify the entire part of it. Uh, you know, we tried doing that also, and uh, and and then we we noticed the response of kids. When the fun element, I mean, wh why why we pursued our education? Of course, job was one motivation, but apart from that, we had our subjects which which we like, and we actually uh, we very interest. Those are lectures. Me, me time be nahi lagta tha. I mean, in colleges also, if some of the professors and some of the subjects, they never noticed ek ghanta or dhir ghanta kab nikal gaya, or bhi khatam ho gaya. Similarly, the fun element in school education has to be created, you know, to retain the kids. If they will not be connected, so when I'm saying contextualization of education, I'm talking about the pedagogical changes which has to be inculcated in in delivering education. So, for an example, if I'm so basically, if for an example, if I'm choosing one science topic and taking an example of local, so if I'm even if I'm, I'm talking about a fiction part. And I'm saying, अगर मैं local teacher हूँ और कहाँ के road के बारे में मैं लोग कि ये गीला road है, ये सूखा road है, और यहाँ पे mu की value क्या होगी अगर वो मैं देख के बताता हूँ, experience से बताता हूँ, लोगों को समझ आएगा जल्दी। So things are contextualized to that level to ensure you know the interest of students into education. And once that is created, भाई वो पांच किलोमीटर, सात किलोमीटर cycle चलाने के लिए भी तैयार हैं, बिल्कुल आएंगे और आ रहे हैं आज के दिन में। अगर आज स्कूल खोल दिया जाए बिहार में, people will come because they know that पढ़ाई होगी और अच्छी पढ़ाई होगी। If and and you know what is the ripple effect we noticed of this model? जहाँ जहाँ pipelines टूटी थी पानी की, वो बनाया गया local पंचायत के द्वारा। जहाँ पे washroom facilities खराब हो चुकी थी, उसको regularly साफ करवाया जाता है पंचायत के द्वारा। so once you you know that that is the reason why involving all the stakeholders education is not a you know game of this you know district education office or uh, or district administration you have to go on ground and involve the real stakeholders if the trust of real stakeholders will be created uh, sustainability will be there in the model and in in, in the school premises. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, can you also elaborate how? Uh digital education can uh, actually improve retention rates uh, as well in such areas. Yeah, so digital education, the major advantage is, you know, uh, the standardization of quality of education. So point is, it, you're not purely dependent on, uh, you know, the teachers. I mean, so, and, and that is one of the challenges also because you're, you do not have quality yeah. teachers anywhere. So at, at some point you are benchmarking that, the quality. And then, uh, you know, you are with audio visual aids, you are actually uh, gamifying the education and grabbing the interest of students. So for an example, uh, you know, uh, teaching, uh, so teaching, uh, you know, the, the, the whole uh, uh, force part, I mean, in, in that force part, we used the Bahubali video where uh, Bhalla was, uh, you know, against that Bal and he, so Bal was actually pushing him uh, with, with the force and he was going back Then he applied more force. And then, then there was a force balancing where F was equal to zero. If this kind of a, you know, clip you are, you are putting in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the TV and explaining the, the, the whole, uh, you know, F positive, F zero, F negative, students will, uh, you know, grab it immediately. So those kinds of fun and animation and uh, gamification are being added through audiovisual and through digital education. And that is actually grabbing the attention of students. Uh, so, so that way, the retention or the interest of students are being, uh, you know, enhanced through digital means. And then uh, this is again, uh, and, and if it is sustained, if it is constantly maintained, the the dropouts will will definitely be, be reduced once they are getting the once they are getting the you know concepts they'll definitely come back. I had a serious uh, you know a disinterest with uh, or you know I was super uninterested in in learning when I was failing in when one particular subject. मुझे लगता था कि भाई इसका period आता है क्यों है यार इसको skip करवाओ है इसको कुछ करवाओ जब तक interest नहीं था उसमें. The moment I got the interest, I started enjoying it. वही है कि वो fun gamification digital medium से बहुत आसानी से लाया जा सकता है and that's where we are seeing also I mean uh, I mean things are changing with, with the digital education uh, also the NEP mandates that uh, digital uh, education be integrated with uh, with the conventional teaching patterns so yeah. how do you think edtechs such as yours will fit in this whole uh, game and how does it all play out uh, so, of course, the policy, uh, we appreciate, uh, you know, the whole uh, uh, policy which came around this. 
but we're still skeptical about you know our involvement in this because uh, there are doors closed for us and the processes are not not very smooth where we can directly go in and can contribute in it they are very complex processes as i said i mean uh, in, so on implementation front from you know the government side uh, the still policies are not relaxed we do have policies like startup india which gives exemption when you are going for tendering process but still the process is super complex and not uh, you know many states are following those uh, startup india policy also in in in, the, in their at district level or the state level so uh, we are still skeptical i mean we can so still we are uh, we are limited to uh, you know the csr funds uh, which which can come in a in a you know pocket size where you can use that and can implement in some specific region but uh, and that will keep on going we are trying to partner with more people to cover more geography but from the government side getting into that i mean with nep uh, the the processes should be relaxed on on uh, you know the companies like us keep when we can get doors to get into the system uh, and and presently that is actually uh, I mean, frankly speaking, it is closed. They are not very easily getting into the system to implement these kinds of solution. And maybe, I mean, similar kind of structure which when we saw in previously failing, जहाँ पे हजारों हजार टीवीयां लगा दी जाती हैं and after, so and we literally saw this. I mean, we went to some of the schools when we were implementing it in Bhaka. We saw, uh, you know, uh, TVs and computer sets जहाँ जिसकी polythene भी अभी उतारी नहीं गई थी चार साल पहले वो install हुए थे. So literally, it was not used at all. वो जो फर्स्ट प्लास्टिक होता है जो टीवी से निकाल के हम लोग अपने में इंस्टॉल करते हैं दैट वाज आल्सो वाज नॉट रिमूव्ड फॉर द सेक ऑफ यू नो इंस्टॉलिंग इट इट वाज इंस्टॉल्ड देयर नथिंग एल्स हैपेंड इन दैट सो द सेम फॉर्मेट विल हैपन इफ यू नो द कंपटीशन और द न्यू आइडियाज आर नॉट बीइंग इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू द सिस्टम एंड वी आर स्टिल एनईपी पॉलिसी ऑफ कोर्स इट वाज इट वाज वेरी वेल ड्राफ्टेड अराउंड डिजिटल एजुकेशन बट हाउ प्रैक्टिकली इट विल कम ऑन फील्ड विद new players new new innovation new model that is uh, you know one question which we had which we are also fighting among us uh one uh, last question before we continue uh what uh so uh while we deploy technology we can reach out to a large majority of people we may even reach the most uh, remotest parts but how do you improve quality of education like that because it's not going to be as human as a classroom process so how do you bring quality into that practice i agree with you i mean uh, the the so education uh, you know with human touch gives you all together another level of feel but we also understand this that you know uh, so again so all these solution is something which is which is complementary in nature it is going to complement the educators but where educators are not at all there think about those circumstances i mean there this is this is the only hope which students are getting i mean we when we implement the model in goda out of 106 schools 196 teachers were there jahan jahan human touch human touch ki jab baat kar jahan human hi nahi hai wo to wo to waise bhi nahi hai so at least with these kinds of education education technology you can put in one moderator who might not even trained on classroom pedagogy you know pedagogical delivery you know training on pedagogy or classroom management part even that moderator can also run i'm saying this i mean waja teachers nahi jaate na wah students khud this model ko run karke pad lete hain so we are talking about and, and this is not the story of it is not an exception in government school system most of our schools are facing such kind of a challenges i mean limited number of quality teachers subject teachers available nahi hain म्यूजिक के टीचर्स से अगर हम क्वालिटी के क्वेश्चन पढ़ाने के लिए एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं वी आर रॉन्ग इन दैट इन दैट सम स्टांसेस म्यूजिक टीचर्स आर नेवर मेंट टू टीच क्वालिटी इक्वेशन टू यू और नेवर टीच यू नो मेंट टू टीच केमिकल रिएक्शन और बैलेंसिंग ऑफ इक्वेशन यू नो इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर लेकिन डेफिनेटली एक्ट एज अ मॉडरेटर एंड यूज दो एड्स टू टीच टीच किड्स देयर आई मीन दीज टेक्नोलॉजीज कैन बी इनेबल देयर so is tarike se of course we will lack in some slum some places where human touch is required but think in the present circumstances it is, it is not at all there us wahan pe to ye khob ban ke jata hai jahan pe ho sakta hai fir agar demand pade to unhi mein se fir aakar ke koi teacher join bhi kare un logo so that is that is what is going on i mean again the technology the best form of i mean ideal form of use of these technologies 
will be complementing the classroom teacher. But unfortunately, in most of these uh, kinds of schools, classroom teaching is not enabler. Thank you so much, Ritesh, for answering.